God bless you, Saints. Brother Gabriel here. Quick message just on my heart. Give you this message today that God is love. Hallelujah. It says this in 1 John 5. Praise the Lord. What does the Lord require of you, O man, but to do justly, to love mercy, <clears throat> Praise the Lord. to walk humbly with the Lord your God? Praise Jesus. God is love. The great and first commandment is to love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, and to love one another as yourself. Jesus Christ also said, <clears throat> No greater love is this but to die for one's friends, and ye are my friends if you do what I say. If you love me, you would obey my commandments. <clears throat> uh, the Lord also said through the prophet Samuel to King Saul when Saul was disobedient, the Lord, what does the Lord require of you? Not sacrifice, but obedience. On the one side, there's obedience. I think a lot of us tend to focus, uh, well, not a lot of us, uh, a lot of folks don't focus on obedience at all. But for those that are focused on obedience, uh, the street preaching community, evangelists, etc., uh, we can't forget the mercy side, too. And the Lord Jesus Christ wants us to speak his words. Amen. So it's both mercy and grace, full of mercy, grace, and truth. By mercy and truth, iniquity is purged. By fear of the Lord, men depart from evil. Amen. So we can't forget that mercy part. Uh, beloved, and, and the Lord's been pressing on this, pressing on me, just pressing on me that uh, we need to we need to speak His words, not our words. Uh, you know, and give people the hope. It's by the goodness of the Lord that draw, that draws people to Him. Yes, we got to give them the truth and love, seasoned with salt. We can't ever be provoked in our flesh. We can't be out there being a condemning people. We can send nobody to hell. Just want you to know that you can send nobody. I can send nobody to hell. Praise the Lord. But knowing the, knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Amen? Uh, but don't forget that. Don't forget where you were before Christ. Don't forget where you were before Christ. Don't forget the goodness of the Lord, uh, that he forgave you. He forgave me. Uh, while we were enemies of the cross, Christ died for us. We were his enemies. Uh, you know, and, the, and the, the enemy, our enemy, the devil, his kingdom has no response to the love of Christ. So when you go out there ministering the word, evangelizing, whatever it is, just remember that uh, we got to be submitted, fully submitted brides to Jesus, speaking his words. He said this message to me very clearly last year at Mardi Gras in an awake vision. He said, speak my words. And he was looking at the preachers. He wasn't looking at the sinners that were walking uh, in sin. He was looking at the preachers. So let love be without hypocrisy, without dissimulation. If you have a brother you got something against right now, you need to forgive that brother or sister. Because if you do not, not forgive others, so the Lord will not forgive you. Praise the Lord. So God bless you today in Jesus' name. Amen. He is mercy. Mercy. Full of grace and truth. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Love you.